Hello you guys, it's Jalen Martinez, AKA The Suburban Grower. And today I have an update on the Eureka Lemon grown from seed. Um, as you can see, oh, it's blocking me, so let me change. As you guys can see, it is doing absolutely phenomenal. Um, this is nine months from the day that this tree sprouted. Um, just very, very quickly, I'm trying to hurry up and get out of here. I got something uh, to do today, but I had to go ahead and get this taken care of and sent to show you guys. Um, this is gonna be the baby of the page. This is going to be uh, what we use to show where we started from on this page to get to where we're going. So hopefully, 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 I have multiple planet, but this one seems to be doing the best. Hopefully we can go ahead and get something, take care of it and watch it grow over the course of years so that we can say, hey, this was what it was. This is what it was. This is what it was. Now look at the fruit, look at the flowers, you know, obviously that's going to take a while, but I wanted to show you guys that it is yet possible. Now I have beat it, beat this with a dead, I, I beat a dead horse with a stick. <laughs> Excuse me. The reason why I say that is because I don't want you guys to depend on a seed or a tree grown from seed for your fruit. Please understand this is ornamental for me. I have multiple lemons. I have multiple oranges. Um, limes you name it i have it pomelos um that are grafted yes you can do this but you can't do this until you have your trees planted that are definitely going to produce fruit so this is just for fun if we get fruit hey i'm telling you guys i hope y'all plan to be around for the next three to four years, five, maybe even six or seven uh, for this tree to see if it does what um, what we plan for it to do, which is um, ultimately survive and um, flower or fruit one day. But like I said, I want you guys to understand that this is not what you should be depending on for your fruit. Because like I told you guys before, uh, these guys sit out in fields in California, Arizona, Florida, Texas, and you don't know what else is out there to pollinate this tree. Even though they're self-fertile, all citrus, most citrus can fertilize um, each other, which then creates a genetic cross. So... If you've ever seen a Meyer lemon, if you've ever seen a Eureka lemon, if you've ever seen a variegated Eureka lemon, if you've ever seen a Lisbon lemon, Ponderosa lemon, all of those are different varieties that um, have been mixed to create a different variety. So I would hate, I'm going to use this as an example, but you would hate to expect this to be a Eureka lemon and, oh, by the way, you didn't know that in Florida, they uh, a mile or two away, they were growing uh, sour or bitter orange. Those bees are traveling over there regardless. So that is the problem that um, we face when growing from seed is the fact that you really just don't know what's around to pollinate those uh, pollinate those flowers, which in turn I take a seed, put it in here, and oh by the way. I don't have exactly what it came from but uh, nevertheless we're gonna go on this journey together and see where it takes us and hopefully hopefully we can go ahead and uh, get this thing to take off and um, grow with the page that's exactly what I want to happen so for all of you guys that are wondering um, about the update on this tree I still have multiples, but like I said, this one is doing the best. So I wanted to showcase it and show um, how well it's doing. It's about, uh, I would say, seven and a half inches tall, and that's out of the pot. Seven and a half inches tall. So it's doing really well, you guys. But um, I'm not gonna not gonna hold you on here long. I just had to show you the Eureka Lemon grown from seed 
here's the nine month update and you guys maybe by maybe by December we can go ahead and get another another update so I'm just gonna go ahead and introduce this tree as the baby of the page um, nine months old and you guys thank you so much for viewing and let's continue to follow this so that we can see just what's going to end up happening to this tree over the course of months and years to come. All right, you guys, it's Jalen Martinez, AKA the Suburban Grower, and I'm out.